Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. I've made many videos about configuring the Arduino IDE for this board with that library, including additional board manager URLs and preferences, installing the board in board manager, and importing libraries. In this video, I'm going to show you the easy way, the Arduino web editor. Before we continue, please check the links in the description down below, like and comment on this video. Also, please click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thanks. I've been using the Arduino IDE for a long time. I can't count the number of times I've come to this page to download it. I remember seeing the link to the web editor a while back and thinking, nah, that's not for me. I like my software running on my computer. I went on to hit download and installed the Arduino IDE. But while I was making this video about the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect, I started looking at the tutorials for it. And I saw this example setting up Nano RP2040 Connect with the Arduino IoT Cloud. When you click on the cloud link on the Arduino homepage, you arrive here and the web editor is front and center. Let's check this out together. You will want to be signed in to the Arduino website. The Arduino web editor requires that the Arduino create agent is running on your computer. This connects the web editor to your microcontroller device that you have connected via USB to your PC. Let's install it. Click on learn more from this notice at the top of the web editor. Click on Install the Agent. Choose the right agent for your OS. Find the Arduino Create Agent installation file in your download folder and launch it. Accept the agreement. I found it best to install the Arduino Create Agent in the default path rather than specifying a custom path. It seemed that using a custom path needed administrator level permissions to launch the Arduino Create Agent later on. Watch as the installation progresses. You may have to acknowledge firewall settings and accept this Arduino certificate. I see this prompt to install some Arduino board drivers as well. Click OK. Now we can see the agent is running in the notification area on the taskbar. The banner on the web editor is gone now. But the web editor does not see my Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect. I check devices on my PC and the Nano Connect shows up on the list correctly. I cannot manually select the Nano Connect and have it show as connected in the web editor. So let's just stop and start the Arduino Create Agent. Now the web editor can automatically detect that I have an Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect on COM port 18 plugged into the USB port on my PC. Using the Arduino Cloud gives you many benefits. You can access your sketches from any internet connected computer anywhere. Look at all the boards that are already installed for you to program. See all the libraries that are already included. Because there are so many libraries to choose from, make sure to mark your favorites so they're easy to find later. You can even upload more libraries if you need to. You have access to many example sketches for all boards. There are also example sketches listed out for each library. Here is the serial monitor where you can see any serial output from your sketch. For anyone who's just starting out or when you're working with a new board or library, I always recommend starting out with something simple. When you succeed at something simple from the beginning, you can easily build on that success. So let's compile and upload Blink to keep the tradition. Compiling in the web editor is a lot faster than the IDE, for me at least. So now we can see that Blink is running on my Nano Connect with this little orange LED flickering on and off. Stay tuned for my next video where I will walk through setting up the Nano RP2040 Connect with the Arduino IoT Cloud tutorial. 
And before you go on to watch one of these other videos, please check the links in the description down below, like and comment on this video, and also please click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thanks.